Hello viewers, today I decided to do a short video about a really common problem on this Ford engines which is 2.2 I believe it was TDCI, the right name of the engines This diesel engine is used on most of their cars Vans on cars or you can see it on almost everything So this is a really common issue and actually the let, let me just show you from which car we have removed this engine and after that I'm going to show you what is the most common issue with them so yeah the front is removed uh, because we have removed the engine and uh, we need to remove everything on the front but this is Ford Ranger and I believe the right year of uh, manufacture is 2016 so it's not so old and actually this car has I believe it has uh, around 170,000 kilometers so the car is not with not so high mileage but even with that mileage this is the engine which is out of the car and as we can see we have disassembled almost everything the crankshaft, the block, everything is disassembled to parts and bits so the main reason which we have done this and probably from the name of the video is because of the complaint of low oil pressure and uh, the customer was lucky enough that he stopped driving the car exactly when the warning indicator on the dashboard appeared so he was lucky enough to save the engine and actually if we check out the journals of the crankshaft just just to show you Ford Fomoco and Citroen and Peugeot and Peugeot so yeah this is some collaboration between Citroen and uh, Ford but as you can see all of the journals are looking pretty good without any damage does matter he had a low oil pressure warning light and actually the bearings this is the main bearings are looking like a brand new ones this is the axial bearing axial bearing the axial part is this of course this is the this is the radial part and uh, this is the other bearings all of them are looking like a brand new bearings and once again on the corner road bearings once again they are looking like brand new ones once again this engine is only on 170,000 kilometers not miles kilometers which is actually nothing but uh, once again because he managed to turn off the car exactly when this happened he preserved the engine and we are not going to change the cylinder block but now let me show you what is the biggest issue with this engine so once again this is 2.2 TDCI so yeah this is it this is the oil pump which we have removed and as you can see all the warps inside the oil pump are broke break down I believe all of them are totally gone so really common issues on these engines I just wanted to share it with you guys because many owners are driving their cars with broken warps in the oil pump and uh, this is the issue why, why after that you are throwing away your engine because this happens and uh, from i believe the service intervals for this if you want to be if you want to be on the safe side i'm going to change this oil pump on every 100,000 kilometers uh, just to be on the safe side so really common issues once again even the camshafts are looking pretty decent as we can see nowhere at all so yeah right at the right time he stopped driving the car yeah the other really common issue with these engines are that the this timing chains are stretching really badly and it's a good idea to change them on actually the service intervals on, on this timing chains were, were somewhere around 150,000 kilometers and it's a good idea to use uh, OEM ones, not some aftermarket junk and actually if you search most of the parts from Citroen most of the parts are going to be cheaper than if you buy them from Ford and once again I'm talking about OEM parts, original parts which is really bizarre and really pity for Ford yeah, and the other bizarre thing is that if you want to buy this o-ring here you need to buy the whole oil pipe you cannot buy only the o-ring here too this oil suction pipe for the oil pump once again we have o-ring here and it's a good idea good idea to change it but once again you cannot buy only this o-ring you need to buy the whole plastic pipe so what a stupid idea guys 
Sometimes this engine has problem with the cylinder heads. That's why Ford is selling these cylinder heads really often. In short, this engine has a lot of issues uh, with the cylinder heads once again. We have done several engines with failed cylinder head and the other really strange issue with this engine which the owner had was he was losing antifreeze all the time and uh, he didn't saw any leakage from nowhere. He didn't have any drop on the ground or anything like that but he was losing antifreeze all the time. And it turns out when we, when we remove the engine we saw that he has some leak from here. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see these droplets. Yeah, right now it's on. Let me. I don't want to rotate it right now, but you can clearly see the dripping from the yeah from the cylinder head. Here was the here was the cylinder head, and he was dripping antifreeze from the gasket of the cylinder head. So yeah, he going to need a cylinder head job uh, for sure because yeah. Probably we have some curve on the cylinder book or on the cylinder head. Yeah, I'm going to end up the video here, guys. I just wanted to share uh, this issue with, with you. Hopefully, it's going to be helpful for some of you. This is one of the most common engines which Ford are using, especially in Europe. Okay, guys, I just want to share uh, this really common issues on this 2.2 TDCI engines on Ford. Uh, they have a lot of issues with the timing chains and the oil pump especially. So it's a must to change your oil pump on every 100,000 kilometers if you don't want to have some major engine issues. Uh, and once again this owner was really lucky because if he needed to buy a brand new cylinder block with the corn rods and everything and the crankshaft is going to be really expensive. So okay guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.